let me introduce you to Holden, Massachusetts, which is located right in the center of Massachusetts, slightly north of Worcester. Holden borders Rutland, Paxton, Sterling, West Boylston, and Worcester. Hi, I'm Linda Havner, top producing realtor at ERA Key Realty in Central Mass, Worcester County. Most of the home buyers that I work with, they view Holden as one of the most desirable towns. However, a lot of people feel they can't afford Holden because the prices are significantly more and you don't get as much house for your money but it's such a great place to live. So if you do have a larger budget and you want a really nice smaller town, it has about 19,000 population compared to Worcester at 180,000. You can see that's a huge difference. So let's talk about the pros and cons of living in Holden. Holden is known for having some of the best schools in the state and it's really one of the main reasons why a lot of young families want to move to Holden. Holden is considered one of the safest communities in Massachusetts which is a huge draw. According to the statistics I just pulled up over the past three months, the average sales price for a home over the past three months in Holden was 444000 I personally was really surprised by that number. A good majority of homes sell eight, nine, and you're looking at huge, enormous. I'm actually gonna take you on a drive-by through a couple of those neighborhoods, and you can see the differences in some of the neighborhoods, and we'll go down 122 so you can get a feel for the center of Holden. Stay tuned till the end where I'm gonna get in my car and take you so you can see what driving through Holden is like. I highly recommend you going to niche.com. That website has very good information about the town of Holden. It is rated an A overall. So niche.com recommended Holden as the number 23 position out of 409 in Massachusetts as one of the best places to buy a home. That says volumes, and I would agree with that perspective based on what the feedback I get from buyers. Niche.com rates Holden as number 88 out of 410 for one of the best communities to raise a family. One of the biggest reasons for that is because of the school system. The schools in Holden are rated very high on Niche.com. The overall grade that Niche.com gave to the Wachusett school system, which consists of five of the surrounding towns, including Holden, was an A-, minus, which is really one of the highest rating school systems in our area. Fun fact about Holden, 57% of Holden residents have a minimum of a four-year college degree. The average income is significantly higher than the median for the entire state. Holden is a very tight-knit community with a lot of local events. When you're driving down 122, which is the center, most of the restaurants are located in that vicinity. Because Holden is so close to Worcester, it's very easy to head over to Worcester where there is a multitude of restaurants and activities. The only real disadvantage to living in Holden is the affordability, in my opinion. In order to live there, you really have to have an above average median income to get the type of house you want it is going to cost you more can you get a, a house in the 400 price range you can but what that house offers isn't much like maybe three bedrooms one bath ranch not a lot of square footage the big homes with three and four bedrooms two car garage multiple bathrooms you're looking at six, seven, eight, and depending on how much land comes with it. These are the biggest disadvantages to living in Holden. You really do have to have a very healthy budget to live in Holden, but for that budget, you do get a lot of perks. So lots of great reasons to consider living in Holden. Why don't you come with me and we are going to get in the car and drive through Holden. Okay, here we go. Here's the entrance to Holden. This is 122A, which really drives through the entire center of Holden. We're going to take a pit stop over to Eagle Lake Park. There's some beautiful trails, beautiful lake and nature area over here with the beach.
I'm here in April, so it's very quiet time of year. You can see there aren't many people taking advantage of the beach because it's like in the high 40s right now. The back roads of Holden are very quaint, very woodsy, very peaceful drive. What you said high school is right down the street from Eagle Lake. This is one of the highest rated schools. We're back on 122 now, driving where the busiest section of Holden is, where all the stores are. Not far off 122 is Dawson Elementary School. I'm going to continue driving through Holden just to give you an example of the different types of scenery you're going to get and the different types of houses. You'll notice some areas have more of an older home, smaller type feel, and now we're going into the newer home area. This is where you're going to find the six to 800,000 price range of homes are in these newer developments. As soon as we're back to one of the older streets, you'll notice that the houses are completely different. And now here's the side street with the newer developments again. All the main roads have older homes and these newer side streets have been constructed, have significantly different quality and spaciousness to them that also carries a pretty higher price tag. This quaint little cul-de-sac here is called Shays Lane in Olden. Back to Salisbury Street, we're going to take a right onto Mark Circle. You can see this street has a combination of old and new. We're heading back to 122A, where we are going to drive through more of the center. Just give you an idea of some of the shops, Dunkin' Donuts. This is where all the restaurants are. There aren't many, but there's a McDonald's here for fast food. Up here on the right is Mexicali, which has actually excellent food. I'm heading west right now on Route 122A towards the center where the intersection of 122A and 31 is. I'm going to take a left, and that's going to lead me toward Paxton, Spencer, Rutland. And if you follow 31 all the way down, you're going to hit Charlton. Thanks for coming driving with me. I hope that helped give you a better understanding of what Holden is all about. If you have any questions about Holden, please reach out to me. I'm happy to help you buy and sell real estate in that town or any of the neighboring towns. Also, you can find me on TikTok and Instagram. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification. I'm going to be doing multiple towns that are in the Holden area. I already did one on Worcester. I've done one on Spencer. So if you want to get to know this area of Worcester County, Central Massachusetts, you definitely want to follow me. Have a great day.